Today I'm going to show you how to launch a malware scan in Tenable SC. The goal of this video is to detect unknown software which helps detect new types of malware as well as potentially unwanted and unmanaged software in the IT systems. Tenable Malware Detection uses a combined reputation-based whitelist and blacklist approach to monitor known good processes, alert on known bad, and identify the coverage gaps between the two by flagging unknown processes for further inspection. Let me show you how to do this. First, you will click on the Scans tab. When the drop-down menu comes up, click on Active Scans. In the Active Scans window, you will click on the Add button. This will bring up the general settings. In the general settings, you will want to put a name for your scan. Here I will just call it Malware Corp Test. You can put a description, but we'll leave that blank for now. Here we will also want to select a policy. I have a malware policy already configured. You can also create a schedule, but for the purposes of this, we will just do manual. Next, you will click on the settings tab. And in the settings, you will select a zone. I'm going to select a corporate zone. And I will also select a corporate repository. All the rest of the settings you can leave as default. Next, I'm going to select the targets tab. And here, I'm going to select corporate windows for my assets that I want to scan. Finally, we need to click on the Credentials tab. In the Credentials tab, we will click Add Credentials, select Windows, then select Windows Corp for this particular instance. Now I will click the checkbox and finally hit Submit. From here, I will click on the Launch Scan button you will notice that a window pops up. We will click View Scan Results. Here you can see that the scan is currently pending. We will wait for that scan to finish and then we will look at the results. Now that the scan is completed, let's look at the scan results. In the scan results, we will see the Malware Corp Test. We will click on that. And now we can drill down further into our particular vulnerability. As we go into the vulnerability details, we will notice that we have information on the left and right hand side. On the left hand side, you can see a synopsis of the vulnerability with a description. And more importantly, you will see the solution and the plugin output. On the right hand side, we will see information such as discovery. When was the vulnerability first discovered and last observed? We also can get host information as well as risk information such as a vulnerability priority rating which is 6.7 in this case. We also can see if there's any exploits available and we can get information on our VPI drivers such as the vulnerability age, exploit maturity, and any threat intensity or what types of sources this was picked up on. Thank you.